Hey people, what's up? My name is Adrian. I'm the design lead for the MUI for Figma design system. And in this YouTube video, I will show you how to uh, get started with the library itself, like changing colors, typography, all that cool stuff. So uh, let's hop into Figma so we can begin. Uh, obviously, the first uh, step you have to do is basically import your Figma, which is which can be done from this import button here and basically locate your Figma local uh, file. After you've done that, you are presented with the library itself, which should uh, look a bit different than this because I have done a few changes. I have spent like 10 minutes changing the typography and some colors just to kind of show you what you can do with the library itself. So as you can see, I've done some changes to the typography and I've spent like five minutes to change this, I just went to the typography here on the design panel, click edit style and I just replaced Roboto with in there. And when you do that, when you are changing a, a style, uh, a token, it kind of uh, lags a bit until it applies all these new styles for all the components which are quite a large number. You can even go uh, a bit deeper and also change the typography for the for the components as well, like the alert title. We have I've done some changes to the button style. Like we can go to the library, to the artboard here, and you can see that I've done some minor changes to to the font style, which. They look really sharp in my honest opinion. So now that we know how to make changes to the typography, uh, I think we can move uh, forward with uh, the colors basically. To replace color is as simple as changing the typography. It's just a matter of uh, replacing some variables, uh, the default variables with your new branding variables, new branding colors. So as you can see, we have two main groups. We have a light and the dark group which uh, obviously they stand for light theme and dark theme. So I will be changing, actually I have changed some colors in the light theme because the dark, dark one is literally the same. So if you wish to change that the dark theme as well, you can do that. And something that I think is worth noting is that you can, oops, you can toggle your dark mode in each component. So let's select one of the buttons and you can see you have a dark mode toggle which can be enabled and disabled. To change a color you simply have to select which color you want to, to change. So let's go and change the text. I've already did so. So to change this you have to go to the edit style and basically replace with your new color. When you did so there's something you have to do as well you need to go to the primary shades and you also let's just copy the primary text here and just replace your new color here in the shades which shades are used for states so states like hover selected focused and we have a 30 percent ripple which kind of simulates the the ripple effect for a focus to change any other color you just have to ungroup the one you want and obviously you can you can change all these colors freely as you like what i recommend is when you're changing your main color you can obviously you know oops you can obviously change the dark one by hand by going down by going with the light by going a bit you know selecting manually but what i do recommend is using a tool like the one from the MUI.com, which when you do paste your color, you can see that it generates a darker and lighter shade. And why I recommend this is because these colors are uh, double A level of, uh, have a double A level of contrast ratio, which is kind of mandatory for uh, all kinds of websites. So let's grab the colors that the app generates. So as you can see, I've done so. I've already used these exact colors the app generates because I trust it. And to generate your shades, again, simply copy your main color. Let's go to shades and just replace it with the default one. As you can see, I've already done so. 
because if I was to be changing this live on, on camera, it would kind of takes a few seconds to, to apply to all these new states, all these new, com new components and so on. To change the rest of the colors, like, like secondary action, error and so on, you have to simply uh, duplicate the process we just uh, did. Now that we know how to change typography and colors, let's see how to make uh, more complex overrides like paddings, like uh, the default attributes of, uh, of a component like margins and, and so on. So let's start with a simple example like the card, which we can find here. So let's say our goal for a card is to look more spacious. So we want to, to change the paddings, the default paddings of the component from something like, uh, I think there's 16 pixels, from 16 pixels to a greater number like 24. So all you have to do is select the components you want to change the default paddings. Make sure you have selected uh, the light one and also the dark ones and just change the padding from 16 to 24. You can see that the changes are already happening here. Let's change the card actions as well because I want to have uh, kind of consistent paddings and consistent values. Let's go from 8 to 16. Okay, and the car content 24. So something that we do here internally, it's not a perfect solution, but it's something. What we do uh, is just have a alert component, which we place right next to the component we change. And we simply uh, toggle something like title and we simply uh, bullet point each uh, edits have been done to that component. So for this current example we have done right now, let's have something like card header changed padding from 16 pixel to 24 pixels. So now when the developer comes to this component and he's asking, okay, so what has been changed? Because your card header looks a bit different from mine. You now have a log of what has happened in your component. As I said, this is not a perfect solution. Maybe you guys have uh, better solutions, better ideas, and I would love to, to hear them in, in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. I hope you've learned something new today with this getting started guide. I'm Adrian and I'm signing out. Bye.